that uh, analysis, Pamela? Well, the first thing I would say is that the, the current crisis that we're in has shown the powers of the Scottish Government in a much more public way um, than possibly since the establishment of the Scottish Parliament. And so uh, when people see that, they, um, they, they start thinking about other possibilities. Um, but the reality is that has happened not in spite of being in the UK. That is because we're in the UK, we've had the, the safety net of being in the UK, the economic strength of being in the UK. Plus, we have devolution and we can already make those decisions locally, as we've seen illustrated very well over the last six months. But isn't independence just a logical next step in that intellectual journey, though, for a lot of people? Absolutely not, because we, as I said, we've already got the best of both worlds, to, to coin a phrase. Um, Scotland is, has its own personality and has power over all those domestic policies that really matter. But we also have the, the strength of being part of the UK, which has been absolutely important over the last few months. We've seen with the, the furlough scheme um, and the support that has been given. And that's nothing to do with who is in government, actually, in, at UK level. It's any party in government, I think, would have taken similar steps. It's because we're in the UK that that was possible.